just done a video on the sound of the KSM-8 and the other Dynamics actually uh, being handheld and seeming to have that uh, kind of rumbling going on. When I was playing around I was using the cut, the cut and boost on the, the shelving on the, the desk. I thought I'll just do a quick video so you can hear that because I'm, um, I think, personally, I think that's quite interesting. I'm on the, yeah I can hear that rumble as soon as I should just, as I've heard it now and you know, just, anyway, this is the KSM-8. And this is what it sounds like, as you know, quite a sweet microphone. Uh, it's got some trunk truncated low end, but I'm going to cut the 75 hertz. I believe it was 80 on this desk. I'll put it on the description. I'm going to cut the low end. And here we are with the uh, KSM-8. So immediately, I'm starting to think SM-58. It's It makes a lot of difference to me. I mean, people do it. Firms, well, it firms things up. It's only if it's sloppy that it needs firming up. So here we are with the, the bass cut, and without the bass cut, to to me, as soon as uh, as soon as you get some of that in there, as soon as you get rid of get rid of that, and they start to get hang hang, want to leave that there uh, exposed. Put the bass back in, mute, and this is the Sennheiser MD four three something. It's a nice mic, isn't it? Yeah, it is a nice mic. Scarce to use these mics live now, of course. Well, when with students, because nothing going on. If I take do the bass cut on this one, there's the bass cut on the the Sennheiser. The bass cut on the Sennheiser. I have a feeling that I, the Sennheiser is more musical with the uh, more musical than the KSM8 when the bass is cut. Bringing the bass back in, bringing the bass back in on the Sennheiser. But yes, so much better for me. Finally, the. Uh, the mighty Biodynamic M88, smooth. I'm going to put the bass cut in. There's the bass cut on the Bayer M88. The bass cut on the Bayer Dynamic M88. Bring the bass in. This is the bass back in on the Biodynamic, which I need to leave a little bit further away because it's got a prodigious proximity effect. What I'm going to do now is just go through all three of them with the bass cut. I didn't intend to do this, but... If I can... Biodynamic M88 with the bass cut. Sennheiser MD43 something five, I think Mark II with the bass cut. Sure, KSM8 with the bass cut, which I don't think, for my voice anyway, is anywhere near as pleasing as the other two. This is the Sure KSM8 with the bass cut. This is the Sennheiser 43 with the bass cut. This is the Biodynamic M88 with the bass cut. You can still hear it's trying to push some of that through. <laughs> it says, it says you're not cutting no bass on me, mate. I better just check I've done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very musical, even with the bass cut. Can you hear that there? And I may as well go on to the uh, Earthworks SV33 and cut the bass on that. This is the Earthworks SV33 with the bass cut. Earthworks SV33 with the bass cut. Earthworks SV33 with the bass brought back in. Don't know what to make of that. These, yeah, as I say, these two somehow sound fine with the bass cut, or not unmusical. This one I think sounds a bit unmusical on my voice with the bass cut, and this one sounds musical. I get the feeling that these mics, when you remove the bass, you remove the bass and what's left is still, in other words, it's not relying on the bass. The bass fills in and adds something, but when you remove it, the the quality and the character of the microphone seems to be much the same with what's left. Whereas I felt with the, the KSM-8, with the bass gone, it started to sound a bit like an SM-58, so it didn't um, work so well. So I'd, I don't know, just to see what you think about all that.